and we got his fresh track here fleeing 39 minutes ago so he was definitely around he just didn't quite come close enough into the call there he is right there Today we're going to be hunting with something that I really love hunting with and we haven't used in quite some time. That's going to be the AR-223 <laughs> and it's pretty awesome. So we're out here on Whiteheart Island on the Hunter Classic. We're going to be hunting for coyotes, turkeys, and maybe even some bobcats. But because it's been so long since I've played the Hunter Classic and actually used a 223 AR, I thought we'd head to the target range and try out a couple of shots here quick. It's shooting pretty good. Yeah. I'd say we're pretty good. We've been tracking down a nice pack of coyotes here for a little while now, and one of them just howled over this ridge here. So once we get over the top here, we should be able to get a nice view of these coyotes. I'm kind of trying to swing wide to the right. That way we can kind of push them out into the open. Because on the right side is a bunch of really, really thick woods. And the left side, there's kind of a crossing that goes across from two different lakes. And if we can get them to go that way, we could have a pretty good chance to get a couple. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes! No <laughs> freaking way did that just happen. We just smoked him. The second shot, wide open on the run with the AR. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes! He cut across from that hill up there, and I saw him coming down. And I thought, okay, it's now or never. And we took two shots and the second shot was right on the money and he dropped right on the spot. Well, here he lays right here. Let's take a look at our pretty nice, what should be a male coyote. Here he is piled up right here. I'm kind of curious where we actually did hit him because it was pretty awesome no matter what. That's gonna be a 58 yard liver shot with the AR and our second shot hit pretty good. A 36.5 score in female. Liver shot, are you kidding me? Are you seeing this right now? That's a double lung heart shot right there. That thing was absolutely smoked right behind the front shoulder, wide open at 55 yards. I will definitely take that. And that's gonna make for a pretty awesome picture. There we go. That is a pretty awesome picture. We'll definitely go with that. And we'll sell her. So that's one of the few that I've been tracking for a little while now. And there's a whole entire pack of males. And of course we ended up getting the one female. That's all right, we're gonna get back on the track here and see if we can't figure out where the rest of those coyotes went. And he's going back up this hill again, or mountain, whatever you want to call it. And there's some fresh tracks right there. At least we got some fresh tracks again. The hard part is though, is he keeps on backtracking, going the exact same path that he came from. So it makes it for tracking very, very difficult. As you can see in the hunter mate here, it's pretty much a complete circle. Looks like he's kind of headed to the shoreline over here. If he does that, he should be out in the wide open and we might be able to get a pretty good look at this coyote. Actually, it looked like a pretty good buck track there too. We might want to check that out in a little bit. Yeah, he's definitely going out to the opening. We're going to slow oh, right there, right there, right there. I think I see him. I just saw something that definitely looked like it could have been a coyote right there I did I did there he is right there right there he's about 50 maybe 60 yards out coming back in this way here I don't want to lose him so we're gonna try and jump him up here we got a wide open field out here so there's no reason why there he goes there he goes of course he ran right between those trees and we couldn't quite get a shot off of uh, this hole oh here he comes here he comes here he comes Absolutely kidding me. How are we so accurate right now? <laughs> we just smoked him wide open on the run at 150 yards out with the AR. Second coyote down and a third shot. We're literally two for three right now. <laughs> we've shot three times and we've dropped two coyotes. I don't know if that's actually the same coyote that we saw running out there, but it might have been. Nonetheless, it seemed like we had a pretty awesome shot. And also, I have been noticing 
I feel like the AR is way more accurate now since we recently started using it again. <laughs> Look at there he lays. There he lays. What an incredible shot. And it should be a pretty nice male coyote as well. Take a look at that. Let's take a look and pick him up. Oh, wow. What a heck of a shot. A 100 yard running neck shot. And we drop that 48.6 scoring male coyote. What an awesome shot. And what a nice coyote. 100 yards right in the back of the neck. And in this case here, we actually might be able to get a really good picture because the light is really, really good here. All right, I think that's gonna look really cool just like that right there. We'll definitely go with that. And the thing is, I haven't really played the Hunter Classic in probably close to a year. I don't know, at least like six months or so. And so it's not like I've been practicing. And I'm really not that good of a shot at the Hunter Classic, but I don't know. Apparently, we've been pretty good. Either that or, like I said, they made the AR way more consistent, which is awesome. Oh, just jumped up a big buck. And that might be our coyote calling over there. That's one of them. It's a female. You know what? I bet that that female might be in the same pack as the male that we're tracking. Yes, she is. Look, there's her track right there. So we know that they're going to be right about there. That's good to know. Let's get back on the male track. As you can see, they're in the exact same pack here. So they're really not too far away. We'll run a little bit further, but once we get to the top of this ridge here, I want to start walking and kind of keep a lookout down in that direction. And we got his fresh track here fleeing 39 minutes ago. So he was definitely around. He just didn't quite come close enough into the call. Right there. Second shot got him. I actually held a little bit high because I thought we would have some drop. That's another thing I've been noticing as well is the AR isn't really having much drop. It used to have quite a bit of drop where if it was out past like 200, you had to hold pretty high or you wouldn't even come close. But now it's like it's shooting dead on and it's shooting super fast. I wanted to kind of show you guys how fast it actually shoots, but uh, every single time we've been so accurate where I've never really got a chance to. So I guess I'll kind of show you right now. Watch this. Well, anyways, next time we see something, I am definitely unloading on it because I really want you guys to see just how fast and how accurate this thing really is. You guys can obviously see how accurate it is because we've been pretty much 100%. We've only missed like one or two shots out of a total of 10 shots, but every pretty much every single shot counted here. And we have another coyote down right here. That looks like that might have actually been, you know, it could have been a quartering shot. And if it was, it still could have been a nice shot. Let's find out. Um, so we actually did hit it twice. That first shot hit a little bit high, but that looks like it's going to be, Ooh, that's a big coyote, a 52.3 scoring male coyote. And we took him at 180 yards. Now that first shot probably hit like right here. Actually take a look. You can really see where we did hit that first shot. You can see I was holding high and that's literally exactly where we hit right there, which honestly that probably should have been a spine shot, but maybe we were right above the spine to be honest. Anyways, that's really cool and that actually looks pretty cool just like that. I think that looks actually really cool just like that right there. Honestly, that's pretty incredible. Well, let's go with that for a picture and let's definitely sell him. He's a pretty big one. Definitely our biggest one that we've seen in quite a while. He was literally just standing right here at about 180 and when I first saw him, I thought it was like a deer. So I pulled out the AR to get ready to uh, kind of spot it and once I saw it was a coyote, I thought, okay. It's now or never. We took kind of a crouch shot, which is a little difficult, but uh, we made it count. I just got eyes on a decent white tail buck right here, but since we have the AR, I kind of want to try and take a shot on him. So he's about a hundred yards out. If he turns broadside, I'd like to take a shot. That could work. That 
should work. I should take him down. Yeah, intestine. That should definitely take him down. What do we got right there? About 178. We got a nice coyote right there. He's perfectly broadside. Let's see if we can't get on him. Holy, lots of coyotes out there. <sighs> Ran out of breath. Oh, but I can definitely see this one. Take a look right there. Right there. It's a female. Should we take her down or wait for a male? Oh, we got two females here. There's got to be a male somewhere. Yep, there definitely is. Just got a call from a male coyote right down over there. So let's keep an eye out for him. That might be him right there. I can almost guarantee you that's going to be him. Look at the size of that thing coming in. Definitely looks like a big old male coyote coming in. He's right behind that tree. It's him. And he's nice. He's really, really nice. Let's get ready. He's going to come right in. And he's down. I think we ended up getting a neck and probably a heart shot, actually. Let's pick him up. Um, shoulder blade and right lung and skull. 47.5. Another really nice male coyote. All right. I think we'll go with that for a picture. That's going to look really cool like that. And we'll sell him. Get another 70 GMs for that. Guess what, guys? We snuck up on those coyotes. And I hear him coming in. We got one. Um, yeah, it's a female. Ended up getting an intestine, left hind leg, and a spine shot. But buckshot definitely did pretty well. But take a look over here. I was looking over here, and I found something kind of interesting. That is a pretty nice... Actually, is that an elk? Is that an elk shed? When I first saw that, I thought it was a whitetail shed. But now that I look at it, that's an elk. Kind of a unique looking elk antler as well. I was wondering like, how can I see this massive whitetail shed from like 150 yards away? And that's because it's not a whitetail shed. It is definitely not a whitetail shed. But here it is. We might as well pick it up. That's a, uh, yeah, a nice elk shed. Like a 250s bull or something like that. Let's pick it up. That's a 300 bull. It's like a 310 bull. I didn't think he was that big, but okay. Well, anyways, I think that's going to pretty much wrap up today's hunt. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed how fun it is to hunt with AR-223. Man, I miss this thing. It is so much fun. And all of that, we did so good with it. We took down, I think, five coyotes. Actually, we took down six because we got that one with the 12-gauge buckshot in the end. But overall, that is a pretty solid hunt. And that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.